You already know what it is. This is Busy Bone Bone Thugs in Harmony, YBL Sinatra. On behalf of me and my crew, y'all are watching Take Flight at the Juicy Fest. Let's get it. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Wings of Take Flight. We down here backstage at Juicy Fest. None other. Busy Bone in the building, bro. First of all, I got to say, I appreciate you taking the time to come through and have this chat because I know it's not something you do every day anymore, bro. Hey, man, take flight, man. You know, anything for you wings, man. We happy to be a part of what we got going on over here. And, you know, Sydney is such an important thing and you guys are so important to this festival. We're really, really grateful and thankful to, you know, be uh, given the opportunity, to be honest with you. Appreciate that, man. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. How's the Juicy Fest experience been so far? Because we're almost halfway through, I reckon, if not over. Yeah, yeah, we about halfway through. I think we at Sun, we about six shows in. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out YBL in the corner too. YBL, say what's up to the people. What's going, on? Let's go. what's going on with you? Let's yes, go. Indeed, this is my son YBL Sinatra. He's been riding it with me. So yeah, about six in. About six in. How's it been so far? What's your it's thoughts? It's been great. I find that you, you know, you really gotta earn it. They really wanna see that you're saying the words, harmonizing it. It's not, they not gonna give it to you. You gotta go out there and earn it. You can't take it either. You gotta earn it, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what I've been noticing. It's been a great experience. You know, I've been in the grind for a minute, so that's I'm, re I'm ready, man, I'm that's ready. Facts. On top of that, more importantly, something I'd love to do with my son is take him worldwide, bro. You've managed to bring your son over here, not only that, on stage, internationally. How's it been, that, how's that experience been, having him over here with you on this whole tour, really? Oh, you know, we planned on it for a minute, and it's kind of been in our plans, and it's just all coming into fruition. You know, it's just amazing that, you know, uh, that it's actually happening, and it's actually here. This is like, this is literally five and a half, six years in the making. You know, with my just my son YBL Sinatra, and now the rest of them, the kids are coming along to be a part of it as well now. And you know, just he been you know trailblazing, leading the way for you know the rest of the family to you know which they've always been doing is being musically inclined. So Facts. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 amazing. I, I mean it, and it's um it's a blessing. Like I'm it, I'm surprised, but a pleasant surprise that it's actually happening because we've been working so hard. And it's, you know, it's been some bumps in the road, but we don't got past them, you know? It's beautiful to see it come to fruition, brother. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Look, since we're at Juicy Fest, one question I got to ask, we're looking for the juiciest studio story. When I say that, I'm talking about whether a collab that you got in there done never came about, something crazy happened in the studio one time, or just a moment you remember where you're like, that's when I came up with this iconic song. Anything that comes to the top of your head. Well, first thing that comes to the top of my head is when we first got into Los Angeles, me and the fellas... And we was recording, I forgot what song it was. I think it was East 99 is where you find me. Mm. So we was doing that one and Flesh was in the bathroom going crazy. Like he tore the whole bathroom up. Oh, that kind of he crazy. Tore the, okay. he, I thought that you say crazy, I'm gonna get you crazy. No. <laughs> yeah, let's playing. go, let's go. But no, he tore the mirrors off the wall, tore the, the bathroom stall off. Um, and we was just wild and crazy back then, you know what I mean? So that probably is the first thing that comes to mind, you know, with me and my boys, we, uh, we, we've destroyed many a studios. I can only imagine. You know, we've destroyed many a studios, but yeah, so that's the first thing that come to mind, but it's, it's so many, you know, with Pac, I was in there with Pac, I was in there with Big, I was in there with Easy. So it's so many of those lovely stories as well that that's a little bit more sane, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. We might have to have a longer chat to get those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next yeah, time you're out here, that's bro. 30, 40, that's a 30, 40 minute episode. Oh, I love it. We'll get there one day. <laughs> Look, Bone Thugs and Harmony, without a doubt, greatest rap group of all time. All right? No doubt about it. What would you say that you've seen has been your biggest impact on the, whether, whether it's the world you live in or the, the rap world out here? I think the biggest impact that Bone Thugs and Harmony has, it's people that are considered crazy. People that are considered off. Um, as I look at my DMs and, and before even social media, there was always an element of Bone Thugs and Harmony with people that were either homeless, either on drugs, have mental issues, and they always seem to gravitate towards Bone Thugs and Harmony. They always seem to feel as though there was a connection. And that to me stands out the most, more than anything, you know, and every it, it's an abundant amount of other things. But that stand that not small demographic, but that that group of, of people stand out the most to me, because 
you know, a lot of times people call me and say, or not call me, but leave a DM and I answer them all. And they say, uh, you know, B, man, I don't know, man, I need some advice. I feel like I'm finna jump off the edge and, you know, I feel like this, I feel like that. You got any advice? I don't mean to take up your time. And so those, that the, that's the biggest impact to me. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a really, beautiful community of people. A beautiful community of people. And now we start getting into... Um, uh, mental illness and mental health and now that's become a thing right so it it was going on back in the days it just wasn't diagnosed and bone has been on the forefront of that you know what I mean so that's yeah. beautiful bro tell me you just said you still answer all your dms to this day to this day I go through them it take four or five hours you know sometimes to go through all of the requests um, and you know I treat it you know I, I've been doing it all my life like I would read fan letters write them back when you know what I mean if you look at my finger right here it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a, I'm a lefty so it's a permanent it's a permanent bump on my finger from writing constantly writing constantly writing so mm -hmm. you know yeah so I always do that man because I know we live and exist and we breathe and we feed our families off of the fans and this it's a real thing so I'm grateful and thankful and I want to pay attention to them you know that's love right there bro big moment I think last year corner of East 99th Street St. Clair Avenue, officially renamed Bone Thugs and Harmony Way. I gotta say congrats for that because I think that's a monumental video, a, a monumental step. I saw the video, which looked absolutely crazy. I don't know who was down there. There's a whole lot of people down there. How did it feel to have that corner, or was it the corner or the specific street? Yeah, it was the it was the street. It was the street that we lived on. Like an entire street mm. goes all the way down a couple of cross streets and stuff. So you know, it felt really good. You know, in Cleveland, you know, there isn't much to hold on to because it's a lot of poverty. You know, the, you know, it's a lot of work that Cleveland needs to get done, you know, as far as in the inner city. And now that's somewhere that people are going to travel to, go get hotel rooms, eat at the restaurants, go take pictures to bring money back into the city. So, you know, as I get a little older, I start thinking a little more political, you know, a little bit more, you know, how is it going to really help? So I loved it on that light. And then... um you know, it, it did feel good. It felt like, okay, this is an accomplishment that we made, you know, together as a, as a band, you know. And, you know, so, certain stuff people can't take from you, you know what I mean? They, you know, they can steal the street sign, but I would expect them to do that. If they didn't, I would have been like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? That's Someone your fans, bro. Come steal on. Steal the fucking <laughs> sign, man. Steal it, dude. Speaking of Cleveland, and more specifically East 99, another thing that, that took me to is your collaboration with uh, MGK on Till I Die Part 2, the remix, right? I thought that was a hard track. I thought that collab was great, that he not only uh, showed love in the original, but then went and got you guys to come on and jump on there. Was there a connection before that track with, between you guys? Um, well, I, I mean, from listening to the stuff that he was talking about, it's like Cleveland is bone country. And, you know... He is one of the standout stars along with Kid Cudi and a couple of other guys that have just taken it to the next level just like Bone did. So I think that it was so super necessary that his people are people. It was just a good thing. It was just like, yeah, we got to do this, you know. So it wasn't too much talking. It wasn't too much politicking in it. It was just, yo, B, we got to go do this. And I'm like, well, dude, can I drop a verse? They want me to drop a verse? They're like, nah, they just want you to do the chorus line. I'm like, all right, but I want to get a verse in. So it wasn't everything that I wanted, but it was enough to show Cleveland that we love each other. We're one. We're a community. We're hip hop. Let's kill it. It was good. It was awesome to, for him to show homage to you, but then you also, Truly. for you guys to pay a little cosign to the, the next generation, Gotta I guess, do of it. Cleveland. You Gotta know what do I mean? It. Gotta Speaking do it. of the next generation, is there any music from this generation that you're really interested in now any artists that you really tap into from this new generation right? i don't know about tap into but coming from where i come from um i'm just happy with you know taking the music into the next level and furthering the uh the culture and furthering what we're doing you know the cliche answer is j cole the cliche answer is kendrick lamar those are the cliche answers you know um and i kind of think that goes without saying but mostly you know to bring i want to usher in our brand of music which is why i have my kids bloodline harmony ybl sinatra a little busy Cleave the Harmony God, So Throat, and Lock Down Love to my, my nephew Goldie. And that's Goldie Locks is what they call him now. So, yeah, so that is really 
everyone to, to answer your question, everyone. And I've been kind of really focusing for the last six, seven years on just letting our fan base hear my children and then passing the torch to them as far as my fan base goes. But yeah, man, I love them all, man. That's dope to see. It's dope to see because, yeah, you know, you, you know, you get some people from a, a, a different generation really not pay any love. Can I tell you what that is? Yeah. That's called broke. Mm. That's called watching these kids make a bunch of money and not liking that part of it. It isn't so much the music. It isn't so much what's going on. It's just people be in a bad financial state. Rich people are never mad. Facts. Ever. Facts. They say that money doesn't buy happiness, but... But you're but. at least content in the profession that you're in. It's like the old football players not liking the new football players because the contracts are ridiculous. You know what I mean? So that's what I come to find. And then, you know, there is genuine, um, you know, criticism towards, you know, auto-tune and this and this and this and that. But like I said, anything moving the culture forward, and can I be totally honest again? Let's go. They all rap like Bone Thugs and Harmony. Come on, bro. They all rap just Pine like Bone. So how, in, how can I be mad at adding to something that they're taking and whatever they're doing with it just – you know, whatever kind of creme brulee that they're, they're they're sizzling up, that they're taking it to the next level. So I really look at it like that and stuff. For, for I love sure. that, bro. On the yeah. opposite end, you've obviously worked with the greats over the years, bro. Pretty much everyone you can name. Everyone. Is there anyone that you really wanted to work with in the past that that time just never came about and now it might be too late? Um, I wanted to do something with Mariah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something with Christina Aguilera. Um... I wanted to do something with M, uh, M and M, because mm -hmm. uh, we up under the same cloth. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to do something with Dre, the way he produced a track. Um, so those are kind of the ones that is, you know, that the boat then probably sailed, you know, on that. But you know, it's always something I always wanted to do. You know, I got a song coming with Lil Wayne, so I can check that off my bucket list. Just did at? something with Nicki Minaj. I'm just waiting on him to return the vocals. Let's go. Um, just did something with Nicki Minaj. Did a remix on Notorious Does. I could check that off the, you know, the wish list. So, you know, I'm I'm um a couple of you know hits and misses. You know what I mean? I'm 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 batting about six at hundred. Hundred percent, bro. <laughs> Speaking easy, I'd be stupid not to ask about him real quick. What kind of personal impact do you think he had on your life, bro? Um, well, you know, he changed my life. Mm. You know, um, I had kids very very early, and you know, I was able to talk to him and tell him like, you know. And he didn't believe me. I'm like, you know, I got three kids, but I'm like 15, 16 years old. He like, what? I'm like, yeah, like I got kids. And he, he cared, you know what I mean? So he understood that aspect of me, you know what I mean? So we had a really close relationship because I was able to talk to him about that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's, you know, with music, it was be free. If the fellas was acting crazy, he wasn't going to give up on us. You know, it was a lot of... Man, he ain't going to rock with us because this one's going to jail. This one's going over here. This one want to do some solo stuff instead of, you know, just normal kid stuff. Everybody just, you know, crazy, crazy when this type of stuff hit. You know, you don't know what's going on. So, yeah, but it just his it, just standing there like through the through the through the rough. You know what I mean? Like when and and seeing it through. All the way up until the day he was gone, you know, he seen it through. He made sure that we got to a certain level. And so, yeah, that that's the biggest impact. He stuck with us the whole time despite our crazy asses. That's great, bro. That's, that's right. I love hearing this shit, man. Yes, I sir. I love hearing this shit. If I'm right, 21 solo studio albums. Am I right? Yeah, From more yourself? like okay. more like fifty, but about twenty one, twenty two officially came out. Officially, all yeah, right. some un, uh, some unofficial releases, but of a course. lot, a lot. Out of all these, has there ever been one that you've thought about that stuck to you and be like, this probably means the most or has become the most important to me? Well, definitely having smoothie. Okay. Yeah, definitely the very very first one to debut. Like I was on stage tonight. I'm still doing that. That was in 1998, and the reaction was just as big as Crossroads or. Any of the other hits that I have along with my band, you know, so definitely Heaven's Movie just totally stood out um, through the test of time. And then now the new music, now that I'm independent, Australia and New Zealand is my biggest market. You know, when you look at the analytics and things of that nature. So when I'm doing the new stuff, like I just did the bag with my, my son, like they like, yeah, we know this one. So it it um, 
So the that that Heaven's movie and then a lot of the newer stuff that I'm doing because they like, see, I got a purpose behind what I'm doing now. They're like, okay, he's not just rapping just to be rapping. This is he's doing something. He's passing the torch to his kids. He's he's doing something. You nice. know what I mean? So yeah, that 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 mostly. So yeah. Awesome, bro. Look. At the start of this tour, Juicy Fest got announced all of the members were supposed to be coming. Right. Like the word was out there. Right. At what point, not at what point, when the word started getting out that you were only going to be the one coming out here, along right. with your son, bro. Right. How did it feel to know you were going to be the one carrying the torch for all those Bone Thug fans that are obviously out there? They wanted to come see a group, but you still turned up and got shit done. I'm really cool with the owner. Big shout out to the owner. You know what I mean? We call him Batman. Don't nobody know him. He, <laughs> he's, he's in the Batcave somewhere doing his thing. Um, but uh, so, yeah, so I kind of already had just a relationship with him. And, you know, I'm. I've been doing this for a minute, so it didn't really take me as a shock. It didn't take me as a surprise. I told him, I'm like, you know, I can come back if y'all want to reschedule it, if this is what you want to do. And so he checked the fans and checked their temperature, and he was like, no, B, somebody has to come out here. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't care if it's Wishbone. We don't care if it's Flesh. We don't care if it's Lay. We don't care if it's Cray. Somebody has to come out here and represent. They want a piece of you guys. Because this is bone country, man. Mm -hmm. Australia, New Zealand, a lot of lives have been changed out here. A lot of, a lot of it, the stories that I have heard about how many lives were changed out here through Bone Thugs and Harmony Music is completely and totally endless, endless amount. So um, it the transition was really, really simple. It was really easy. And by, you know, my son and I, YBL, Sinatra, doing this for six, seven years, to, uh, to, to, uh, to do it was not a thing. Ain't a thing, bro. Ain't, it was, Ain't it a wasn't thing. a thing, you know, and they embraced us, man. They was like, we love you, B, hold it down for the crew. What was it like? I feel like you really enjoyed New Zealand. I saw some posts on Instagram. Obviously, I wasn't there. What would you say is standout moments from when you were over there, bro? It was the stories. Mm. It was the people yeah. coming through, like, telling us the impact. Mm. It was personal for them. It was very, very personal. They took it personal. They was like, you guys helped us here. And everyone had a story. Damn near would you to want to cry. Mm. But it was beautiful. And so it was so up close and personal. So it was just like, and then we had a lot of time to stay out there too. Here in Australia, it's like, boom, we go here, boom, we fly here, boom, we fly here, boom, we fly here. We really don't have any time to chill. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, but yeah, they just got close. They got really, really close. Okay, that's really beautiful, close. Bro. Look, to finish up, I got four quick questions for you. You don't beautiful. have to expand on them, all right? Cool, Let's cool, go. Cool, cool, cool. Your favorite song of your own? My favorite song of my own. Uh, it's a tie between Thugs Cry and Nobody Can Stop Me. Come on. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Best country to visit, but for food. Best country to visit about the food. I'd have to say New Zealand. New Zealand, huh? Yeah. What's, what's the best feast? I've actually never been to New Zealand. I know it's just around the corner. It's but... this place called Lord of Fries. Ooh, we got that here. Okay, they got all the vegan Big uh, Mac and everything yeah. that you want. Because I have been seeing it on the Food Channel forever. Mm -hmm. And then to finally come out there, I'm like, oh, shit. And it tastes just like the goddamn real back Big Mac. Okay, I've never given it a go. And it's so. fucking delicious, man. And all vegan, all clean. It's filling because mm -hmm. it's, you know, but... There's a big uh, cosign for Lord of the Fries. Come on. Oh, man, it's the good stuff, man. It's um, the good stuff. What song have you currently got in repeat, bro? What song do I have in repeat? Um, I'm listening to this uh, Little Lion. Let me see. This Lion lion thing. Let me see. Oh, good. She did this thing on. I got it. It's right here. No Love, Dub Play, Queen Omega, and Little Lion little lion sound so she did this little this chick well not chick excuse me this this female did this um did this song over the uh a biggie beat okay the juicy beat yeah and she went in so that's been on repeat i've been in the gym working out and shit and all kind of good stuff let's go bro look that's pretty much it i appreciate your time so much before you leave by why be on sinatra i gotta know from your side right yeah pen the camera over how's it been touring with your dad over here getting this music world in what's coming for you next bro Oh, man, it's been an honor, you yeah. know? Like Pop said, we've been on this marathon, this road, whatever you want to call it, for five, six, seven years. I'm just honored to be overseas. Um, and just, I'm enjoying myself. And birthday today. <coughs> oh, yeah. bro, happy birthday. Let's appreciate go. It, appreciate it. Has you. anyone brought a cake yet? We've got to send someone out. Come, come on. Come and, on. Let's right, go. We right, can do right. that. And um, 
like I said, I've just been enjoying myself out here, and I got a new single coming out, projects dropping, a lot of stuff. My clothing line is in the coming? works. Sorry, real soon. Yeah, okay. Real, right real soon. Real, real soon. Real, real soon. Sooner than you think. Real, real soon. Awesome. Featuring, Featuring Doughboy. Doughboy. Oh, come on, yeah. man. Yeah, a heavy A lot link. more artists as well, but that's the one. No, no, that's you know, a heavy link. Sure. Yeah. Oh, it's good to meet you both, bro. To be honest, look. All right, it's your boy Wings. It's busy, bro. It's YBL Sinatra. It's Take Flight. We out. Yes, sir.